Say, I need a car. Uh, Call your daughter, a mother, whoever, say, I need a ride yeah, to get here to take yeah, my baby. Uh, what they gonna say? Oh, I'll call you back. Yes. Like, I'll beat and they won't probably, I know they won't call you back because you asked them, but I'm sure they can call you ass. But the oh, prophet, yeah, right? he has never let you down. Amen. So why let him down? Pick up your cross and follow. And you know what I was meditating here? I'm gonna keep open. And I was just thinking, you cannot worship these things on earth. You can't yes, worship Lord, the car. Mm -hmm. You can't worship the money. You can't worship yes, children. Yes, yes, you can't yes. worship anything, you know. Yes. And it's a blessing when the prophet requests something or asks something. You can't stutter and, you know, say, well, I need that or I need this. You, you, you need to just give in and say, here it is. Amen. That's because right. the prophet is wiser. Amen. And you don't know what the Lord has told him to do, whatever he might need. And I'm sure, like many times, he might say, I need you go down midnight hour. And he'd tell why, a reason, because we need a breakthrough. Amen. And it's a reason. And we can't just say, well, I'm not going to do what he says, because I think it should be this way. Well, you're not the prophet. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Love the prophet. Keep loving him. Yes. I thank God for the sisters and brothers that we have and new sisters and brothers that shows love daily because we make the sacrifice and responsibility of picking up our cross, not complaining, not murmuring and being there and just doing what you need to do in the kingdom without complaining. You know, and I sit here and meditate. I said, prophet, 79 years old. Shouldn't have to lift up anything. Amen. Should just be doing whatever he needs to without having to ask. Mm -hmm. Prophet, is there something I need need me to do for you? Amen. Think of the prophet. Mm -hmm. Think of Jesus. Yes. We gotta let ourselves put ourselves on the back burner. We gotta make that sacrifice for God because God made a sacrifice for us and we cannot be selfish. Lord Amen. is dealing with selfishness. We cannot be yes, selfish. Yes. Yeah. We have to not say, I'm going to be there for my sister and brother. I'm going to do this. And then you can't be found or can't be notified. Amen. We have to be loved. We have to show it. Amen. We have to really, really say from a sincerity heart without just speaking it. But yes. definitely doing it because our prophet is sincere. Amen. That's what he says. Yes. He's the real deal. Amen. If he tell you, if he's going to do something, he's going to do it. Amen. And we should be the same way. Right. Prophet, yes. I'm going to do this. I don't know. I might be five minutes late, but I'm getting to it. I'm not going down the store. I told you to do this. Oh, I, I, I thought you don't make excuses. Amen. Prophet, the head steps and way ahead of us. He says, go straight. Go straight. Don't go right. We got to thank God for our prophet. Thank Amen. God. Yeah. My, my testimony 16, 15 years ago. I could have been dead and gone. A lot of people right. don't know. But mm -hmm. I had a, the, the best, the prophet. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Lord put him in our path. And we got to love and respect him because the Lord hears our prophet. And I've been dead and gone because if it wasn't through the prayer of the prophet, a righteous man. Amen. Right, two righteous men. I should have been dead and gone. Vangelis Evans know that. And the prophet. But I thank God because there's something that we should always be ready to do something for the prophet without, you know, just being reserved, not uh, taking our time. Just do it. Amen. Anything you need me to do, prophet. Uh, the grass, you see the grass looking kind of rough. We shouldn't have that proper tell us. We just gotta do it. You know, something need to be anything you want special, made, cooked, or whatever. You shouldn't have to ask. You know, God don't ask. When we ask God, we need Jesus. God will give, but we have to. We have to give back. Like picking up that cross, the responsibility, being corrected. Like the prophet was corrected as an elder. And he's strong. He took it. We have to take it and rejoice. Amen. Be happy because the song says, when I think about what God has done, you can't tell me. I'm not going to get sad through correction. 
we got to be happy. Amen. Thank the Lord. I'm corrected because something down the line hit you in the head. But we got to thank God that we're corrected and love it and pray my stuff to the Lord. Amen. Amen. This time, let's receive uh, Elder Brooks for our remarks. Amen. Praise the Lord, Church. Praise the Lord. Blessing my soul. And I say, Amen. Praise the Lord to all my true life family. Praise the Lord. Everybody Amen. imagine the name of Jesus and I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our great God who's the real man. Double and all honor to our great high school. Double and all honor to the people of the help make for later this day. And thank God for that powerful message that advances the back. Yeah. I was uh, waiting on profit. I was praising the Lord outside and come in and having a great time. Uh, I enjoyed the testimonies and the advantage of where I did the songs she sung, all the singing and the band played good today. Jesus, man. Yeah. Thank God for that uh, powerful work that Evangelist Wagner gave and uh, talking about uh, you know responsibility in the Lord. And like the Bible say, uh, you know, without the uh, cross we can't get our crown, you know. And, uh, and you know, God uh, you know laid a responsibility on all of us, all of us, you know. I think uh, before his crucifixion, you know, he had a cross, you know. So if God himself, you know, had a cross. You got to have a cross too. You know, Amen. You mentioned about prophets. When he was an elder, you know, how his uh, spiritual leader had placed responsibility on him. You know, and he he he, he took it, you know, on the stage, you know. He said many times he went out in his car and you know a, a young preacher went out and cried, but he came right back in Jesus' name. Amen. And, that, and that's why he's uh, the man of God that he is today. And I was uh kind of thinking about and she uh, gave the message about uh, how she mentioned about uh, when the Lord needs for us to do something, we have to do it. Mm -hmm. And just look at it in the, in the spiritual context that uh, God wants all of us to uh, do something. And then one person or two persons don't want to do it. You know, that hinders the work. Amen. You know, you know uh, we, we're not a large church. We're yeah. we not no greater grace. You know? <laughs> so you know, everybody's got to be accounted for. Amen. Everybody. You know? and, and include myself. That's why, like I say, you know, every day I try to you know build myself up. You know, a little bit more, and a little bit more. You know, I ain't, I'm not where I should be, but uh, you know, I, I'm here in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I to do something. I got to do it. You know. Sometimes, you know, you know, get, get tired in my body, I have to pray, Lord, you know, give me the strength, you know. And uh, I, I get on up and do what prophet need me to do because he's our leader. If we can't do what our leader say, we don't need to be here. Amen. Amen. And that's, and that's just, we've been hitting on in Acts the fourth chapter. I'm gonna go there real quickly. Acts 4 and 32. And it reads, and the multitude of them that believe, you know, and that uh, uh, belief is a powerful word, you know. Amen. You know, everybody uh, uh, in church, you know, we have to believe, you know. If you don't believe, what you doing here? That's right. You, know, you got to ask yourself, you know, if you, if, if you can't believe uh, in, in what your spiritual leader is telling you, you know, what are you doing here? You don't have no business here. Well, uh, uh, should nobody have no unbelief? We all done been up under the prophet for. Uh, I know I've been up under the prophet for years. The prophet ain't never came up short for what he had. Yeah. And, 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 and like prophet mentioned, you know, look at Shiloh. Yeah. You know, that's, that's a testimony within the second. Powerful testimony. Yeah. You know, uh, we, 
we don't have nobody that make no hundred thousand dollars a, a year here. You know, we got, like I said, not two, we got three missions in Jesus' name. Amen. How many